Hi, today we are going to talk about Navis Works and its utility for the AEC industry. This technical session is brought to you by Obelisk Design Private Limited. We are an architecture knowledge partner. For more information, you can visit our website at www.obelisk.in. That's O B E L I S K dot I N. So let's get started here with Navis Works. I've got this program icon on my screen which I double click. Here you see we've got Navis Works Manage 2010. Navis Works basically comes in four different variants Navis Works Freedom, Simulate, Review, and Manage. Navis Works Man Manage has all the features of the previous three variants plus it has some added features like flash detective and a timeliner tool. Now here we have our Navis Works screen. Those of us who have worked on Autodesk's Revit must be familiar with the view cube and the steering controls here. Now Navis Works is basically just a review tool if you have a look quick look at the toolbars here you find that there are tools to mark up the model but we don't have any tools out here for modeling as such so what we mean to say is you don't model in Navis Works you just bring in your models and review them set them up for clashes things like those what that means is I need to have a model first before I can go any further with Navis works. Let's see what I need to do to get in a model. I'll need to have a model in some other software, 3D modeling software. Let's see what all mod uh, file formats Navis works supports. There's a wide variety of files formats that are supported in Navis works. We also have an IFC format so whichever format you might have got your 3D model on one way or the other you would be able to bring it into Navis Works. Now today what we're going to do is we have our model in Revit Architecture and Revit MEP. We're going to import Revit Architecture model and a Revit MEP model and bring it up into Navis Works try and set it up for clashes, review it and see how that helps us. So for that I first need to get my Revit model. So now this is our Revit model that we have to export into Navis Works. It's a small flow that we've modeled. It has the architecture and structure elements here. You can see some structural beams. Apart from that you can see things over the ceiling the ducts and pipes running all over the ceiling. Now what we have done here is we have linked a MEP model from Revit MEP into this Revit architecture model. You can see it here in the Revit links. It's a MEP model .rbt file that I have linked into my architecture model. Now what we have to do is export this into Navisworks. I go to the Tools drop down menu, External Tools, Navisworks 2010 and it asks me to save the file in .nwc format. That's the native Navisworks format. I'll say architecture.nwc asks me to replace. I say yes and it starts exporting this model into the NWC format for Navisworks to be able to open it. Now while this is exporting this model, only those entities that have been modeled in this file would actually get exported. The MEP link would appear here but it doesn't get exported to the NWC file. Let's quickly go back to Navisworks and bring this .nwc file into our Navisworks window. What we need to do is just open the file from the correct location architecture.nwc was the file and you see the model appears here on our screen. 
let's quickly zoom in and see if any of the ducts are visible here no none of them so right only the architecture model has been exported now what I need to do is I need to get my MEP model here as well for that what I need to do is append the MEP model that I've already exported to NWC format I can append it from here or I can go to the toolbar and say append this is the MEP file I've already exported in NWC format and I say open and there you go the ducts and the firefighting pipes all other MEP equipment is out here so I've got two files now I can go on adding as many .nwc files to this model after pending all the required nwc files to this model I need to save this first I've already saved this here when we save this model it gets saved in a file format that's different from the format we exported the model in the format earlier was .nwc and once we save it in Nevisworks the format is .nwf I have this saved as demo.nwf I'm going to replace this done so now I have a .nwf file on which I can work in Nevisworks the main focus here today is going to be how to use this model in Nevisworks to detect clashes now for that what I need to do is I need to first have selection sets 